Toyota has just done something that has shaken up the entire global car market. Asterisk asterisk when the world was running toward electric vehicles, Toyota played a car that raised the eyebrows of even giants like Elon Musk. This time, it's not about any new EV nor any solid-state battery. This time, Toyota has put forward its hydrogen engine, and the claim is such that it can shock the entire auto industry. Yes, till now we used to think that the future belongs only to battery-powered vehicles. But Toyota has challenged everyone's thinking by showcasing this engine that runs on water. No long charging time, no hassle of heavy batteries, only hydrogen, and the same power as an EV, maybe even more. Now the question is, can this technology really prove to be the end of electric? Have Elon Musk and Tesla now got real competition? And will hydrogen-powered cars be seen on common roads in the coming years? To know the answer, watch the full video. But before that, subscribe to the channel so that every big piece of technology news reaches you first. Toyota's big announcement has surprised car experts around the world. When everyone was running toward electric vehicles, setting up charging stations, improving battery technology, Toyota took a completely different path. They bet on hydrogen, not batteries. And they're not just talking. They've shown the world an engine that leaves petrol and diesel behind and gives direct competition to battery EVs. Now, what exactly is this new engine? Toyota has named it the engine that produces power by burning hydrogen instead of petrol. You may think this is not an EV, but in reality, its emissions are close to zero. No carbon dioxide is emitted. Only a little normal water vapor comes out. That is steam. And the most amazing thing is that this engine does not run quietly like a battery. It roars like a traditional car. So those who are crazy about rough and powerful cars will enjoy it equally. Toyota says this engine has already been tested in performance cars like the N now. They further fine-tuned the formula and technology so it can be brought into mass production in the future. The engine that Toyota tested is a which runs on hydrogen. Its power output is said to be around equal to any high-performance sports car. That means it's not behind EVs in any way when it comes to power. Toyota also says that the engine is so fast and responsive that its performance remains strong, even on the racetrack. Now, let's talk about the range. How far can this car go after filling hydrogen once? Toyota's current hydrogen car, the Mirai, can run for about on a full tank. And the same technology is being used in the new engine. That means it could be much better than EVs for long distances. No need to charge for hours, no range anxiety. Just fill up at a hydrogen station like a petrol pump and you're good to go. Toyota is making this engine especially for those who don't want to lose the feel of speed, power, and sound. Electric vehicles are very silent, but this hydrogen engine gives you the... So... For those who believe the real fun of driving lies in that roar, this could be the perfect option. Now, is this just a prototype or is it going to be launched for the public? The answer is somewhere in between. This engine isn't fully ready for mass production yet, but Toyota pilot models are being tested in Japan. Toyota engineers are working day and night on aspects like mileage, safety, and consumer usability. The company says that once the number of hydrogen stations increases and governments begin supporting this technology, this engine will start being installed in large numbers. Toyota doesn't see this engine just as an option. They consider it a need for the future. They called it part of their multi-path strategy, which means they are working on EVs, hybrids, and hydrogen all at the same time. Hashtag, 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 how does a hydrogen engine work? Now for the big question. How does this hydrogen engine from Toyota work? Is there anything like a battery in it? Does it need to be charged? Or does it run like a traditional petrol engine? First of all, understand this. The root of this engine is hydrogen fuel. That means no petrol or diesel is used. Instead, hydrogen gas is filled into the tank. When hydrogen meets the oxygen in the air, a chemical reaction takes place between which makes the wheels of the vehicle rotate. Now you may ask, even petrol does the same. What's so special about hydrogen? The difference is this. The hydrogen reaction does not release carbon dioxide or smoke. Only water vapor is emitted. That means there's almost no harm to the environment. 
This is what governments today want. Asterisk, asterisk, zero emission vehicles, asterisk, asterisk. Imagine a small power plant installed in your car. Hydrogen is filled in it. And as soon as you start the car, hydrogen and oxygen combine to create a mini chemical blast that produces electricity. This electricity goes to the motor and the vehicle moves forward. Now, what's the difference from a battery EV? An EV already has a large battery installed, like a mobile battery, just in a much larger size. You charge it at home or at a station. When you drive, the stored electricity goes to the motor and runs the car. A hydrogen vehicle does not have a big battery, or sometimes has a very small one. Instead, it has something called a fuel cell. This is where the real magic happens. Think of the fuel cell as a small reaction chamber. Hydrogen enters from one side, oxygen from the other. Inside, the reaction instantly creates electricity, which directly powers the motor. That means no charging hassle, no waiting for batteries to fill. Just fill up with hydrogen and go. Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag time and range advantage. The biggest advantage? Very low refueling time. Just fill hydrogen like you fill petrol. The tank is full in three to five minutes, and the car can run for 600 kilometers. Compare this with an EV. Even with a fast charger, it takes 30 to 60 minutes to charge. At home, it can take six to eight hours. Now let's talk about range. Most EVs, except expensive models, offer 300 to 500 km on a full charge. Hydrogen vehicles can easily go 600 to 700 km, and that too without any power drop. Does it make any noise? Yes. The hydrogen engine can sound like a petrol engine, especially when it's a combustion-based hydrogen engine. Some hydrogen vehicles are quiet like EVs, those with fuel cells only. But some, like Toyota's GR models, intentionally keep a racing sound to maintain the thrill of driving. Hashtag, 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 safety concerns. Now the biggest concern, asterisk, asterisk, safety, asterisk, asterisk. Hydrogen is a gas, and people assume gas means danger. But companies like Toyota have worked for years on its safety. The hydrogen tanks are built very strong, designed to remain safe even during accidents or fires. And honestly, hydrogen is not more dangerous than petrol or diesel if the technology is right. The hydrogen engine is not only powerful, but also good for the environment and user-friendly. No need to worry about long charging times, no stress about range. And the technology is future-ready. Hashtag, 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 is it better than electric vehicles?